Hey guys, welcome back to Tampa Bay Reptiles. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, cleaning some of the reptile enclosures. Uh, we're going to start with some of the boas. Um, I just want to show you how I do it, and you can do it however you want. Uh, this is just the way I do. Um, first what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to take the snake out, and I'll put her in a bin. Um, you know, just so she's uh, somewhere safe while I'm cleaning. I, I pull all the bedding out and then disinfect everything. Um, and then, you know, clean their water bowls and, and put everything back uh, with some nice new fresh bedding. Um, the type of cleaner I use, I use a disinfectant that's a, um, it's called F10. You can find this stuff on, I think I ordered this on Amazon. Um, it is kind of pricey, uh, but it lasts a long time. I think you only mix uh, five milliliters, which is like the very bottom line down here to uh, to one whole bottle, uh, spray bottle. Um, and I just write it on there so uh, so I don't forget. It's uh, super easy. I mean, this stuff will last you a long time. I got the big bottle. Um, it'll last a long time. Um, so yeah, we'll get to it and I'll show you how I do it. This, uh, I really like this rack a lot. It's got built in, uh, heat on the bottom of the rack. Um, and it's got a thermostat, uh, built in also. It's hanging on the side. Yeah, you can't see it, but it's hanging on the side. Um, it's, it's a really awesome rack and all these lock. So, um... So yeah, it's pretty nice. I just fed all these guys yesterday. Um, I usually try to give them at least 24 hours, sometimes 48 hours um, before I take them out and mess with them. Um, you know, just kind of let them digest their food. But I really want to clean these enclosures. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and get them clean today. Come here, girl. Come on. There you go. Come here. Come on. Okay, you're okay, girl. She's fine once I get her out. She can get a little feisty sometimes. But, uh, <laughs> here she is right here. I use the hooks to get most of my snakes out. And then once they're out, um, you know, they, they don't get quite as aggressive. See if we can snag a fingernail clip here or a thumbnail clip, whatever you call it. This is, by the way, my first video <laughs> that I've actually made by myself. One of my buddies helped me with the other ones. All right, now we got her secured in a nice... Uh, Container. What I do first is I just take everything out. I got a trash can <laughs> that uh, that I just keep in here in the snake building. Um, this water bowl right here, just dump out what's left of the remaining water. She gets a. Uh, I really need to get her a bigger one, another one of these. I got a bigger square um, water dish that I'll put in there so that way she can't move around. There you go. You can see it down here in the bottom like that one there. Chink. Um, just because this bowl is just so small. I mean, it's a big bowl, but what happens is she can push this thing all over the cage and then she'll get some of that bedding in there. And it just dries up all the, uh, you know, dries the water. So I have to add water to it every every other day, which I don't mind. But I should just get her a bigger a bigger water bowl. 
that she can't move. You don't have to put gloves on, but uh, I like to put gloves on. You can order these guys off of Amazon also. I order everything off of Amazon. Well, <laughs> I get the wife to order it for me. I just send her what I want. Um, I got a big box that came with, uh, I think like 10 packs or five packs. I think maybe it's five packs. No, 10 boxes. And these all have like 100 gloves, so they'll last you a long time. And they weren't, I don't think they were too expensive, maybe 50 bucks for that whole big box of them. And what would help out a lot here is if I had like, if I had like a dustpan or something <laughs> to help me grab all this, you know, scoop this stuff out of here. Well, we just take all this bedding out. I've had a lot of people tell me that I waste bedding by doing this because it's really not, it's not dirty bedding. There's like, there's a, you know, a spot here in the front where I think she peed and, uh, there's a couple, you know, uh, turds in here. Um, I just like to take it all out. You know, every, other, you know, every other day or so, if I see that there's a turd or something in there, I'll clean that out. But at least once a week or once every other week. Um, I like to take all this bedding out and just go ahead and sanitize everything in here. And um, I just like to keep it clean. I like to keep it smelling good. And I definitely... Uh, <laughs> I definitely should do something different with the, uh, maybe get a little, just like a little dustpan or maybe a little broom to help scoop all this stuff out of here. That'd be a little quicker. Alright guys, so I wound up, uh, going out to my to my garage i just grabbed the shop vac it makes it so much easier i just vacuumed all the stuff out of there there's little bits that you can't get um and then now i take uh take my f10 cleaner and uh spray everything down real good Um, this stuff here, I'll let it sit for, I don't know, about 10 minutes or so. And, uh, then I'll go through and wipe it all clean and, uh, let it air dry. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Okay guys, I got I uh, got it all cleaned out and it is dried. Definitely make sure it's dry before you put anything back in it. Um, the bedding or you know any of the stuff. Uh, what I use is um, I use both. I, I use aspen bedding and then I also use a uh, I use cocoa blocks also. Um, but I go through a lot of bedding, um, so I primarily use the Aspen. And you can get this at anywhere. You, uh, tractor Supply, a farm store. Um, you can get it at Walmart. Um, Walmart usually tends to have the best deals on it, is what I've found. And I get the big, it's uh, five cubic feet. It's a big bag, and uh, you can do a lot of snake enclosures with it. I 
put it in this big uh, tote just because it's all compressed in the um, in that bag that it comes in. So I put it in this big tote so that way it kind of helps break it up a little bit and uh, makes it easy for me to spread it around and get it in there. This uh, this doesn't have too high of sides here. They're kind of short. Um, so I try not to load too much in here. I like a lot of bedding, um, but one flaw of these cages, unfortunately, is these, these sides are just so, they're so short, so I can't really put as much in there as I want. Um, Cause every time I go to take the snake out, it, it just, it all floods out the side because the snakes will, you know, when they push it, you can see on this one here, they just kind of push they just push it up on the side so as soon as I open that door like all that stuff's falling out of there um, so so I tend to try not to pile it as high there's that and she hardly ever uses this hide but I put it in there anyways because sometimes she does go in it most of the time you know most of these bows I have here they don't use the hides they just hang out out here So I took your uh, water dish and cleaned it. I try to keep them here in the front so that way I can access them pretty easily. There we go. And I just keep a bunch of uh, distilled water. I buy you know, like 10 gallons at a time. Um, I just keep a bunch of them here in my building. Nope, oh, I already got bedding in there. I don't fill this guy all the way up because, uh, like I said, she's going to push this thing all over the place. She's going to dump it and, uh, I really just need to get a, a bigger water bowl for her, but for now we're just going to continue using this one until I remember to buy another one. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and get her back in there. She's a big beautiful girl. Nice clean enclosure. And this thing, <laughs> this one key locks, These all these are all keyed the same. So it locks all of them with that key there. All right, and that's, that's how I clean these enclosures. Um, stay tuned guys, uh, I'm gonna put out, you know, as many videos as I can. Again, this is my first video on my own, so I'm excited about it. Um, stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and uh, I'll talk to you all soon.